I want to preface this real quick by saying that this is going to be quite a bit different from my normal stuff, as a lot of the footage used for this video is coming from a live stream I did a while back. We'll be going back and forth between stream me and present me on occasion, so I'll do my best to make it clear when that happens. This is also why the reaction image is in the corner, it's a stream thing. So for some context. During this stream I didn't really have any specific ideas in mind, like normal, so I just messed around for like the first half hour. The, the cult of Russian tear, right? They like worship Neja as this god. <laughs> Is that a fucking real E621 link, Nitro? You're gonna get me fucking banned. <laughs> Eventually, I was doing forward runs and beat him within an inch of his life, so as a bit of a meme, I decided to do a jump kick to finish him off. This got me thinking. Yeah, get fucked. I bullet jumped for that final bit of damage. Dude, I think I should put on Gale kick and just exclusively kick forward to death. <laughs> That might be kind of fun. Little did I know, this was the dawn of something I was about to spend the next two or so hours working on. First, with the original goal of one-shotting Forid, and ultimately spiraling into the goal of making my feet overpowered. To start, I want to explain what a jump kick actually is. Essentially, whenever you slide in air, enemies you collide with take a small amount of damage, this amount being a flat 20 damage plus 100% of your melee weapon's base damage converted to impact. This is important to note, as unlike other things that use stat sticks, the actual stats of your equipped melee do matter for the jump kick, not just the mods. The higher the base damage of the melee weapon, the higher the damage of the kick. There's also a Warframe Exilus mod called Gale Kick, which makes this formula 20 damage plus 200% of your weapon's base damage. As I read the wiki on stream, we determined that jump kicks do not benefit from the following things. Physical or elemental damage mods, faction damage mods, parkour velocity, Sliding Velocity, Shattering Impact, Void Strike, or Ribbons that have base damage as a stat. Okay, well, the wiki says that Ribbons don't work, but I did some testing and it seems that they actually do. I wasn't aware of this at the time of the stream though, and because of some stuff later down the line, it won't really matter that much anyways. They do, however, benefit from the base damage of the weapon itself, base damage mods like Pressure Point, the Steel Charge Aura, and most interestingly, Excalibur's Furious Javelin Augment. Energy Channel also boosts the damage of the kick, so long as you don't consume the charge by actually using your melee weapon. Condition Overload does not work as far as I've tested, but as Forward is immune to status effects, I wasn't really that concerned about it. There's also one more thing on this wiki page that I glossed over which will become really important later, so just keep that in the back of your mind. So, now armed with this information, I began hunting for a high base damage melee weapon to use as our canvas. I expected it to be a hammer or a heavy sword, but surprisingly, the winner was actually Inadem, clocking in at 360 base damage. I also want to add that while I was looking for a melee here, I'm pretty sure chat was actively trying to fucking sabotage me. What is the highest base damage melee weapon? Guess it's an exalted? Strofa heavy? I just mean the base damage. I just need the base damage, because this the base damage is all that gets converted for the kick. Where Yeah, this is 230. We're not we're not utilizing no heavy attack. I just need I just need the fucking I just need the base damage. Strofa is higher. Just for base damage? It's 220. We're just reminder, we're just looking at this number. This is all that's affecting my kick, as far as I can tell. I'm gonna have to buy a new fucking loadout slot for Inadem real quick. Straight up, rename this to fucking Slide Kick. It, it, we just have to pump it with base damage. Uh, what all affects base damage other than a Spoiled Strike and Pressure Points? Because I'm guessing the kick probably can't crit. Wait a minute, what the fuck? I completely forgot this mod existed. Fucking Energy Channel? I didn't even save my name. Okay, we'll just rename it to Feet. Or not? Hello? Um, okay. Okay, so the, there's one other thing that does work with this, according to the wiki article. Furious Javelin. I have- why do I have so many fucking Excalibur configs? We'll just use this one. Uh, except... Operator. Please return covered Why do I have wide. Surging Dash on this? Hold on, I think I have Brain Damage. Yale Kick. Slot that in there. 
After a lukewarm initial test, I went ahead and equipped Arcane Fury to boost the damage too. I wasn't entirely sure if it would work at first, but after some testing later on, we determined that it did. Arcane Blade Charger would have likely been better for this in hindsight, but I honestly forget that the Arbitration Arcanes even exist most of the time. Back to Inadem, it wasn't a prime candidate just for its high base damage, as one of its Incarnate traits turned out to actually work, Swooping Lunge. I noticed my slide kicks were procking the effect, and after some further testing, we verified that it did in fact boost the slide kick's damage. So, after a lot of hyping up, I went ahead and tried to do the one-shot. Okay, this is gonna be it, this is gonna be it, we're gonna fucking one-shot forward. Trust, trust. I lost my Arcane Fury buff. Why is he not spotting? Okay, come on. No! I'm not even close. Yeah, that went about as well as you'd expect. But I was determined. I had to clown on this boss. I had two new ideas to try and pull this off. First, to armor strip him with Unairu for more damage, and second, to hit forward with a debuff that would make him take more damage. So, Chat and I did some shopping around at the Hellman. I'm gonna do it. Just to flex. My first idea was Breach Surge, which didn't boost my damage in any noticeable way. I also tried Terrify to see if I could use a different focus school, completely forgetting that Terrify doesn't work on bosses. For those wondering why I didn't use something like Theros Strike, I didn't want to damage the boss with any other abilities. Doing these tests made me realize something, though. Something that would become a HUGE issue later down the road. It's right to your operator, it's right of your buff. I'm going to kill myself. But back to the Helminth, I, in an act of desperation, decided to test something that the wiki didn't have listed, Eclipse. I also put on Molt Vigor, completely forgetting about Umbral Sentience resetting my buffs. Ultimately, I decided to go to my home away from home, the Simulacrum, to determine definitively what did and did not work. Here, I determined for sure that Fury and Swooping Lunge worked, but Eclipse was still the elephant in the room. So, after having some trouble getting targets to come into the light, I was able to bring about a verdict on the viability of Eclipse. Holy shit, guys. Okay, I have to retest this. So that was 4,000 damage, right? I have to retest this because he has a different armor quantity. Please tell me that that worked. Oh my god. Eclipse works. It fucking works. This was huge. We now had another layer of multiplicative damage boosting on our side. So, remember that thing the wiki said earlier that I kind of glossed over? Well, it's relevant again now. In chat, Quetzaldrake asked me to test with Exalted Blade, which I was initially dismissive of. I mean, it only deals 250 damage at base and locks me out of Swooping Lunge, so what's the point? Well, what my dumbass forgot is that Exalted Weapons have their base damage scale with Power Strength, which I was already hardcore specking into for my other buffs. Wait a fucking second. Guys, I'm an idiot. I'm such a massive dumbass. Exalted Blade's base damage. Scales with power strength. This gave us much more base damage to work with, and even stranger, using Exalted Blade didn't lock us out of using Swooping Lunge, as it still triggered whenever I kicked an enemy. So, by this point, it was all coming together. Exalted Blade with base damage mods, Steel Charge and Arcane Fury for more base damage, and Eclipse and Furious Javelin to boost my damage multiplicatively. This isn't even with Exalted Blade. 147... Thousand. We have a winner. I think we have a winner. I was still using Molt Vigor by this point too, which once again brought down on my head the realization that Umbral Sentience was going to keep getting in my way. Remember, buffs from Eclipse and Furious Javelin are cleared when entering Operator as Umbra because of this passive. So, begrudgingly, I decided to take my regular Excalibur. I slotted in a sort of gimped version of the prior build, and to my surprise I was actually able to fit everything except for Furious Javelin, the most important mod in the entire setup. God damn it. After using an Aura Forma on my Excalibur, I didn't have enough energy to use any of my abilities, so I was going to have to level them back up. I tried to do this at first by playing ESO with randoms, which went about as well as you'd expect, so I then pivoted to leeching off of my viewers. Big thank you to Phoenix, Idan, and Dominic for helping me out here. We've got a Saren here. Wandering Soul is a base Saren Sobek user. We got this, okay? After leveling back up, I returned to forward with a newfound vigor. I was gonna do this or die trying. First attempt, I failed, but it was pretty obvious why. I didn't cast Exalted Blade. 
I got so caught up in all the other buffs, I completely forgot to use it. So, I went back with that in mind, and did what I once thought was impossible. Or I would have, if Forward wasn't standing in the dark. Alright, third time's the charm. Air is the assassination target. You know what to do. Holy shit. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. I actually fucking did it. I do want to mention that Fulrid did take a negligible amount of damage, but I'm not sure where from, as I had no companion equipped and the damage showed up way after I used Radial Javelin. My guess would be one of the Corpus units hit him, which was kind of unavoidable. Still, I don't think it swayed the outcome all that much. To celebrate, I decided that another boss deserved to be one shot. Or, you know what? I think to celebrate, there's only one way we can really do this. You feel me? I'm not even gonna use it. I'm not even gonna use fucking Furious Javelin. We're gonna see if I can flex on this hoe. Absolute fucking loser. I didn't even need Furious Javelin. So, after putting the sergeant in the ground, a porn bot showed up in my chat to celebrate with us. The porn bot! The porn bot's here to celebrate, guys! Let's go! Chat69.xyz is here to accomplish or celebrate us for the achievement of one-shotting Fulrid with my feet. We fucking did it. Lots of people in chat wanted to see how this build would perform in Steel Path, and while I was hesitant at first, as I knew I would die hella quickly, I did hatch a plan. The idea was to bring a Harrow to ensure that I wouldn't die, along with an Equinox and a Nidus to boost my strength even more. So, I brought back Idan and Dominic, and added Salus to my squad to help out. I admittedly didn't expect this to work all that well, but I thought I may as well give it a shot. Boy was I wrong. Alright. I want to try... So we're gonna strip his armor. Okay, so if you armor strip, I think this could work. Little did I know, I didn't even need to armor strip. Oh my god. Oh my god. If they have viral stacks, it's working. Oh my god. Bring a panzer? You're set, folks. You're set. It works. It works. I wanted to test out the damage of the foot build on an acolyte, but before one of them showed up, another guest paid us a visit. Oh my god, are we actually getting a fucking G3? Oh, it just keeps getting better and better. It just keeps getting better and better. Them to book didn't stand a fucking chance. All right, thank you for the mark. Let's go! <laughs> My God! <laughs> what the fuck? The Equinox and Nidus also got me some pretty nutty buffs, and in turn, I had some pretty nutty damage. But we finally reached an Acolyte spawn, and it was Violence, who immediately dispelled all of my buffs. Awesome. Literally the worst possible scenario. So, we waited for another five or so minutes, and another Acolyte spawned. And this time, it was Mania. Oh yeah. It's showtime. It's time. Everyone get ready. Everyone get ready. Okay, so I couldn't one-shot them, but I was determined to jump kick this bitch to death. We did it! We did it! Alright, we can go home now. We've successfully fought a Steel Path Acolyte and beaten him with nothing but my feet. It wasn't all that quick, but we did it. We conquered the Steel Path with nothing but my Excalibur's feet. And a bunch of buffs from my teammates, but let's not dwell on that. Alright, that's that. Thank you to Phoenix, Idan, Dominic, and Salus for helping me out on stream, as well as to Artistique on the Discord for clipping a lot of important moments. It helped out a lot while I was making this. To avoid repeating mistakes made in the Concentrated Arrow video, I'll show the builds I used in full on screen now. Again, Blade Charger would have been better than Fury, though I don't know for sure if going into pure strength would be better in the end. 
I didn't want to add more Forma, but taking Growing Power and Molt Augmented would likely be better than going for more base damage through Arcanes or Steel Charge. You could also drop Uniru for Xenoric or Matarai to boost your strength even more, though unfortunately Matarai's passive doesn't boost the damage. If you enjoyed accompanying me on this mind-numbingly stupid endeavor, then feel free to like, subscribe, all that kind of thing. Dislike if you think I'm a dumbass, and ring the bell if you want to see more tomfoolery in the future. You can join the Discord using the link in the description if you want to tell me how dumb I am directly, and I normally stream every Sunday at 5.30pm CST, so stop on by if you want to catch this kind of nonsense live. With that, thank you so much for watching, feel free to check out some of my other stuff if you're new, and I'll see you all whenever I get around uploading again. Re relevant to the stream. I'm just gonna open this real quick. Evelyn posted this in the Discord. This is relevant to the stream.